Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to read out of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. God loves us, and he's calling us to be his people. He's then, in return, going to glorify us. He will be glorified in us, but we will be going through persecutions, trials. Yes. He didn't say this Christian life is going to be easy, but he is with us, and he is fighting our battles along the way. So I'm holding my phone because my phone keeps falling down for some reason, and uh, so I'm redoing my video. So Second Thessalonians chapter 1. Greetings from Paul, Savannah, and Timothy. And they're talking to the church, and we, God's people, are the church. It's not a building. It's God in us, a body of Christ, the body of Christ. Christians getting together, serving God, and serving his people. The shut-in, the sick, the needy, the lost. So, chapter 1 of Second Thessalonians Paul is speaking to the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith yes patience and faith for our patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure which is manifest evidence. Manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy. Yes, we are worth everything to God. You are counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you and to give you who are troubled rest with them, with us, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flame and fire taking vengeance. He fights for us. That's how much he loves us. So when people mock us and they say mean things and they do mean things to us, God is fighting our battles. Yeah, he's fighting for us. On those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, these shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he comes in the day to be glorified. Yes, God's going to be glorified, and you and I are going to be glorified also. In his saints, and to be admired among all those who believe, because... Our testimony among you were believed. Therefore, we also pray always for you that our God would count you worthy in this calling. So Paul, Savannah, and Timothy are praying for our worthiness. Therefore, we should also pray always for you and that God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. 
that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you. Yes, glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, there you have it. God is fighting our battles. Amen? I'm glad he's fighting my battles because I, I know there's some people that say, this Kenny here, this girl here, she just preaches the gospel. She's just on one. This Bible thumper. Yeah, I'm on one. I'm on fire for Jesus Christ. He put that love in me. He put that desire in my heart. It was up to me if I was going to move forward with it. If I was going to be courageous enough, come out of my own fear and say, okay, I'll do this for you. Because not always have I been like this. It took many, many, many years to call me out, to bring me to him. To serve him, to share with his people how much he loves you. Don't give up. Those trials and tribulations you may be going through right now, he's right with you in the midst of it. He's fighting your battle every step of the way. I love you. Lift your hands up to God. Praise him, thank him, and know that he is fighting for you. Amen. Love you. Stay blessed and know the higher power is in love with you. He has you in his righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 says that. He's fighting your battles. Relax. Be happy. Love you.